Once upon a time, there lived a delinquent. He was one of the most vicious delinquents they ever were. But he had a, an interesting portion added to him. That being the son of a demon lord. I'm talking, of course, about Beelzebub. And this is actually one of those cases where... I personally would like to see a rehash of this series, especially since we are seeing more and more rehashes in general. We've seen Sailor Moon get redone. We've seen we're now seeing Bleach getting their final arc. We're seeing a lot of a lot more options. And this is one of those series that I actually enjoyed watching and think that there could be actual value for whatever it is. So originally this series was um Written and illustrated by Ryuhei Tamura, and he's actually been doing a lot of other other series. It's it made it into a total of twenty eight volumes, and ran for, ran from February two thousand nine to fe February two thousand fourteen. So a good five years, and then we had an original run of the actual anime from January 9th, two thousand eleven to March twenty fifth, two thousand twelve. So the basic plot is that uh, the main character, Tatsumi Oga, is a first-year student at Ishiyama High School, a school for delinquents, where he's called the strongest ogre and the man who splits in half, or and the man splits in half, revealing a baby boy. This boy, Beelzebub, is the son of the demon king, and Tatsumi, along with Beelzebub's demon maid, Hilda, have been chosen as the one to raise him. Now... This is entertaining for me for multiple reasons. One, you have a delinquent who's forced to take on a parental role. And I've seen this a couple of times where someone has to, has to take on a fatherly or motherly role to a child. I think one of the more recent ones is like the Gaku and Babysitters, where the main character, along with his, his toddler brother, younger brother, has to join the babysitter club in order to for their tuition or whatever the story is it has less to do but this was one of those cases where the entirety of the series was entertaining to say the least now unfortunately this was one of those cases where it cut itself off at around the 59th episode is when it decided to cut its chains but they decided to tie their knots in one of the worst ways possible. So specifically, this is Tatsumi becoming somewhat of a surrogate father to uh, Beelzebub IV. But at the same time, he's still a delinquent. So try, mainly what he tries to do is find a new person to take over for the role of being Bell's father or parent, I guess, is the best way of looking at it. And eventually he starts dealing with the other factions in the Demon King Demon world who are trying to be more proactive in destroying Earth. Whereas the Demon King is... I think they put it as very flippant with his abilities. So he'll be, like, doing multiple games while sending his infant son on a mission to destroy the Earth, when he can barely deal with a cat. I mean, I won't say that that's entertaining to say the least, but it is one of those cases where it's questionable parenting at best. But, oh well. So, one of the big things is that I do know that they did have some level of filler, but not by much from what I remember reading. So specifically for the actual series is that it went up to right about hmm maybe it went to right around volume about 10 maybe at the end, or maybe, no, actually, I think what it is is that it actually went to about 
maybe I don't I, let's I'm going to go with this idea. It didn't go any farther than Prince, the Prince Anarch was the specific end of everything, and then it followed. More specifically, a ending following with the actual start of the war. Then we have, but when they did the. Um, Second school arc, I believe. It was specifically... Okay, I think I know where it actually ended. And yeah, this is just me kind of making everything up at the end, at the start of everything. Um, actually, now that I'm looking at it again, it really didn't have much in terms of um any actual spec any actual filler now that i think about it but then again it was relatively short and we had a couple of spe very specific um any specific arcs in general. So we had like the idea of, I think the, who's the strongest was the last official episode where it covered up to chapter 121, which was in, vo okay, so volume 14 was probably the best, was probably the end of everything. So you had the But they also cut out a bunch more in general. So really, I'd say it went up to in volume value 13. So we had a beautiful ending at the end, at, at the end of the episode where Oga and Bell decide to sacrifice their lives to blow the entire, entire Akumano Gakuen to smithereens. And for the first portion of the 60th and final episode, Everyone's mourning him, saying he was a good man. Only to then bring out the MacGuffin that is Alandala, the warp demon, warp transfer demon. So, for those who don't want spoilers, I can't really say anything. I've already spoiled a good amount of the actual series. Um, but it turns out that Oga, in as a last minute addition swallowed himself up into Alandalon, protecting himself and Bell from all damage. How that worked, I really don't think I actually want to figure it out. But the ending in general just made me feel like it, they start they made a loop. So basically it's he gets out of Alandalon, he loses the mark because technically he did he his contract is over. I believe it's because he actually did die. But we also have, at the very end of the episode, after they go back to the demon world, they come back to the real to the real human world, and the contract just starts up once again. So it's one of those cases where they had a really good cliffhanger, and they just screwed it up. So personally, what I would like to see is actually finishing the actual series, and... I know that it's a lot of work. It's a this is a what 10, 15 year old series, but I do believe that this series definitely deserved more than what it was given. Um, but that's my personal feeling. I know that a lot of series are getting a lot of a lot more attention. We're trying to make newer and better series. So tell me what you think in the comments. Do you think that this series was actually a good one, or do you think that it ended on? the best that it probably could have. So thanks for listening.